We go to the third inning. There's no score between the Yankees and the Angels. This is Father's Day. You see all the players wearing the blue wristbands and the, the little ribbons on their uniform, and that is to raise awareness for prostate cancer. And uh, a man who's just been doing unbelievable work for the last 18 years when it comes to this is this man, Michael Milken. Uh, Michael, we're sick of you. I mean, we don't want you to come back. We want prostate cancer to go away. How close are we to having that? We're more than halfway there. Mm -hmm. The death rate has dropped by more than 50% from projected levels. And the $40 million we've raised from home runs hit. Now, wow. Wow. we used to be able to count on the Yankees as the number one <laughs> provider for medical research. See the Lincoln scoreboard, no score. So when we started this program, as you know, the idea was come out to the ballpark, remind your dad to get checked for prostate cancer, your father, your uncle, your co-worker, your next door neighbor. And this program with awareness has made a significant change. And a lot of this research goes on right in New York City with the major research centers there that we have funded. 18 years there. Wow. 18 years, $40 million, and a death rate that's dropped from 50% now, from projected level. Is that because uh, men have become more aware and they're getting more checkups? Is that the... Two areas that you've touched. First, more awareness. Okay. When I was diagnosed 20 years ago with prostate cancer, so I'm still the happiest guy just to be in the ballpark today. Really, no one was really talking about it. Today, as you know, because of this program with baseball particularly, you've had this enormous change in awareness. So that's the first part. The second part is there's been six new drugs. So for a person that has failed surgery or radiation or hormones, other types of treatment, there's tremendous promise. So a person like myself, where it had spread through my body, today, you might lead just a normal life with these new drugs. And, and there's a number of them right now moving through that we think will eventually, within three or four or five years, make this a chronic disease, not a life-threatening disease. Now, one of these stats that really stands out, Michael, uh, is that one in six men will be diagnosed with this disease in their lifetime. That's, that's startling. As Gardner hits one up the middle and through for a base hit. Stewart's going to go to third. The throw comes all the way through. He makes it, so the Yankees have runners on first and third. Nobody out. Well, it is one in six, and you'll notice my jersey. Some people think that I'm number 16, but it's really the one in six. One in six men. So it is, it is the most diagnosed non-skin cancer. And a woman has a one in eight chance of getting breast cancer. But next year, because of funding, there'll be a new test. It's going to be a urine test. It's a genetic urine test. And you'll not only tell you whether you have prostate cancer or not, but what type of prostate cancer. Wow. And we now know there's 27 different types. And probably the most exciting thing is, for some of these, you don't have to do anything. So not only do they tell you whether you have prostate cancer or not, but it lets you know what type of prostate cancer. So a lot of men have had surgery, radiation, and other treatment that won't need to take it anymore. Now how, how long has this particular technology been available? We've been working on it and funding it, as many others have for the last five to six years, okay. and it'll be available, widely available, next year. Here's Cano after the conference on the mound. Infield is back, second and third. And it's popped up. Let's see if it's deep enough. Tagging is Stewart. Trout makes the catch. And the throw is cut off, so Cano does not get it done. Michael, before this inning is over, I mean, we love seeing you. We really do. Yeah. We'd like to see you without you having to talk about this. Do you think in our lifetime you'll be able to just drop by and say hello? Do you think that cancer will ever be gone in our lifetime? A hundred percent. Really? A hundred percent. Cancer won't be gone. But as a, a life-threatening disease, because you'll be able to identify it, because we'll be treating you, not your, not a cancer. In other words, we've been treating prostate cancer. We've been treating breast cancer instead of treating your cancer. And so we're on the verge of this revolution. And people don't realize the United States government has invested $400 billion in the last 15 years in bioscience. 
it's about to pay off. Here's Hafner. Fouled away. It, it certainly has, Mike, it's become your life's work. It, it's amazing what you've done and the time and the effort and the money that you've helped raise. That one is drilled deep to center field. Going back, Borges on the track at the wall. See ya! What do you say? <laughs> A three run home run for Travis Hafner. Big for the Yankees. And Thank big for cancer research. Mm -hmm. Thank you, New York Yankees. Well, uh, just when you thought another scoring opportunity was going to go by the boards, the Yankees had second and third and nobody out. Travis Hafner saves the day with a three run homer to give the Yankees the lead. How much could this swing be worth, Michael? That swing was worth 20,000.